All right, what's going on guys? Big Mets here. Taking you guys through a little day in the life today. It's about six o'clock in the morning. First thing I'm doing is walking outside because I gotta see what the roads are like so I can make a plan for the day. Jeannie's still sleeping out there. We got quite a bit of snow last night. It's pretty icy right here actually. I'm trying not to fall down. I almost wiped out there yesterday. I'm just trying to see if I can do my run this morning or if I've got to wait until this afternoon but it's actually not so bad out here um, even the path just by my house is looking pretty good so I think there's a little bit of ice we're gonna cross fingers I don't wipe out but yeah all right a plan it's good to go we're gonna hit a uh, we're gonna hit some coffee and some breakfast first and uh, I'm on coffee duty I gotta make for myself and Jeannie and then uh, we get this training day rolling so stick around Take you through the day. Terrible Tuesday on tap. Let's go. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit of the setup here. I'm trying to be quiet because Jeannie's still sleeping in the other room. Got the aero presses out today. You know, I got my electric them up, but kind of a disaster of a morning because it's not charged. Hopefully, it doesn't set the tone for the day. But uh, yeah, I got that, these bad boys going and uh, gotta get the caffeine in the system. Honestly, the AeroPress is kind of a pain in the ass to make, but it's the way Jeannie likes it and hoping to get some husband brownie points by making it that way. And if I'm going to make her one, might as well make one for myself. Come on. Meet your papa in the morning. Come on. Oh, you have to say hello to papa. Lee, please say hello to me. Okay. The queens have awakened. <laughs> All right, I paint the morning picture here. It's about 6.30, I got most of my coffee in. Temperature, kind of a mess situation. <clears throat> my electric cup typically does the job. You can see he's blinking red, and uh, so I'm gonna have to charge him up for tomorrow. Uh, I'm on my computer, just sort of noodling around, checking in on my athletes. I'm reading some little study on fat oxidation, very much high level nerd stuff. And I've got my little study buddy here. This is Millie, uh, my dog. And she is pretty much the queen of the house and she knows it. I don't know if you can tell, she's got her big Labrador sized bed. She's looking at right into the camera. She's like, hey, put me on camera, dad. I love being on camera. I'm beautiful, I'm good looking, and I'm freaking tired. I don't know why you guys woke me up so early. I'm going back to bed. Okay, bye. All right, we're all caffeinated up. You can probably tell a difference here. Uh, a little color in my cheeks now. And uh, yeah, we're getting the show on the road. And uh, Jeannie and I both have super busy days. I have a terrible Tuesday, I mentioned that earlier. What's on tap for today? I have a nine mile steady run this morning. We're taking out a bit of the run intensity um, just overall in the week. I'm only doing two hard runs a week instead of three in the build up to Daytona, just focus a little bit more on the bike. So uh, just go off for a nine mile easy kind of steady run this morning. We'll see, I'll run by heart rate. And then uh, after that, quick pack up, I'll probably have about 45 minutes to throw my bike in the car, throw the trainer in the car, and then I'm gonna do my normal Tuesday swim with the crew, and then set up my bike on the trainer at Rally Sport, the gym that I train at, and go right from the swim onto a super hard trainer ride. Um, so super busy morning, three sessions right in a row, but the good news is I will be done with the majority of my stuff training-wise by probably about noon. So that is kind of rare form uh, for me, but. I'm going to take it and uh, we'll get this day, I get the show on the road here. Jeannie is moseying about as well. We've got to set up her kicker because we had a bit of a axle problem. So just uh, trying to sort it out. Give you guys a little look into the gear closet here. It's too much stuff. All right, Jeannie's upset because there's too much crap in here. Which I kind of agree, I kind of don't, but when we moved into this apartment, we don't have a garage. We just have a little storage unit for the bike, so I got to commandeer my, this is my office here. And then this is my uh, my gear closet, so stoked to be working with Shimano. We got all of our extra Shimano bits here. Any type of wheel selection you might be able to choose from. We got two kickers in here, more wheels, helmets, bike bags. Here's a mountain bike frame that has been sitting here for about four years. Maybe we'll build that up this off season. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna try and pick through all this crap, 
get all the trainers that we need for the morning because we're both riding inside because there's snow and cold out there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A lot happening this morning. We just had a bit of a debacle with the kicker, but now we're right for Jeannie to get a ride done this morning after she goes swimming. And I just pulled those pants out the dirty laundry because it's so cold and I need a pair of pants. So that's real talk, real life. That's what's going on. It's like, how, when do I get to go running with my papa? Papa runs way too long for you, sorry. Wow, man, you want to go running? Hmm? I need to go back to bed for now. All right, back to bed you go. Bye, guys. Bye. I feel like it's been a busy morning. It's 7.14. And uh, I'm bringing the GoPro with. Say goodbye properly. Oh, I got yelled at because I didn't say goodbye properly. Bye. All right, now I've done my job. <sighs> Husband duties. Um... Yeah, that probably put me in the doghouse, to be honest. This is me pondering how much I'm in the doghouse. Probably not that much. I don't know. I did make her the coffee this morning, so that got me up one. Now I'm probably down one. So if we're, like, at par, I feel like that's pretty good. And uh, I am taking the car today. Thankfully, I'm not making her scoot. That would put me in the perpetual doghouse. But she did have to call her friend to come pick her up. So, I don't know. This is just, like, pro triathlon couple problems. Anyways, I'm about to freeze my it's uh it's like 15 degrees snow as long as i don't fall down i'm pretty much good for whatever um I'll give you guys a little bit of the look at the path here this is a path by my house it's pretty freaking nice um when it's not so cold yeah but i'm in a good mood today so we'll get this training day started off terrible tuesday it's not that terrible but i think when you're fit um i don't know you can survive it a bit better so off we go all right bye we'll catch you up check in on the run all right, well, I'm all into the run. This is a uh, extension of the Boulder Creek path. We're heading up to Wonderland Lake Park. It's pretty nice. It's kind of like a big winter wonderland vibes happening. I'm just, uh, I'm running steady, trying to avoid the ice. It's uh, actually pretty okay conditions. Whoa, no, just kidding. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if I wiped out. I mean, we do have eight miles to go. So anything's possible, but uh, number one objective, keep it upright. All right, I took off my glove to film. My hands about to freeze off. All right, check it in a bit. All right, what's up team? We made it to Wonderland Lake. Pretty insane, we've got the literal cloud right there hovering the lake. You see the foothill right there? The trail's covered in snow. I'm feeling pretty good. This is like very mysterious vibes. Got like creepy vibes going on. No one's out here, just uh, I kind of love days like this because I'm like, oh, most people will be like, oh, it's too cold, it's too snowy, it's too slick, it's too icy. And I'm out here, get my miles in, get my training in, and uh, yeah, anti-soft club. Let's get it. This cloud's literally gonna break. As we're running around the lake, it's like a mile loop. It's amazing up here. If I ever actually make real money, my goal is to buy a place up here. That would uh, that'd make Jeannie's dream come true. So part of my motivation, keep racing hard, keep pushing myself to do new things. Got uh, big goals, you know? And uh, yeah, just keep working, you know? All right, yo team, we're approaching halfway and uh, made it up to the base of the foothill here. Still, uh, the cloud hasn't broken. We're still in the cloud, which is pretty crazy. It's kind of weird. It's not really like this. I wish uh, it was a bit sunnier so you guys could see how beautiful it is here. But uh, show must go on. And we're clicking away. I think I've probably done about four miles. 
Um, it's been really icy in places, particularly on the paths and stuff. Um, now we're on some gravel, so it's less slick, but uh, yeah, we're just cruising away. And uh, I'd say having a good time, not even that cold, so I'll take it. I'll check in later. All right, mile six on the downhill bit now. It's pretty much like halfway uphill, halfway downhill, and I'm uh, on the road to trying to avoid the ice, but not going very well. Pretty sure my eyelashes are starting to freeze. Um, generally, legs are feeling pretty good though. Just uh, turning over, nice little pace here. Nothing crazy. So far, 658 average, which uh, considering I've been dodging the ice and walking through some sections isn't quite bad. And uh, yeah, just cruising away. This is a little mini run block. I had a 15 mile run Sunday, eight and a half mile run yesterday. This will be nine, nine and a half. So 33, 34 miles in three days. Love it, runs my favorite. All right, we're at a light here. Pretty much the only light on the route. I was getting tired of the ice, so back up on the road, J Road, 28th, otherwise known as 36. Pretty popular route in Boulder for cycling. Um, and this is pretty much how I come home on my bike every day. So I'm gonna stick on the roads. I made it 7.34 miles without falling down. So we're gonna try and make that the, uh, the thing moving forward. This light's always super long. Kind of feeling like a bad boy, but no, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for it. Three seconds. All right. Yeah. Probably see you when we get home. Millie. Hey. Are you excited to see me? Are you excited to see me? Huh? <laughs> I know. I know. I was gone one hour. I was only gone an hour. I was only gone one hour, dude. Oh, I know. I know. Life of a dog is hard. Can you howl for the camera? Alright, what's up team? We're in the car. Quick change, I got back from my run like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago and I had absolutely nothing packed because you saw, busy morning already. So I threw the bike in the car, threw the trainer in the car and packed up all my stuff I need for the swim. Had to make some bottles and stuff like, because it's a pretty intense session. I, my, Julie doesn't tell us what the swim is until we arrive, but in this build to Daytona, it's been super hard every Tuesday, Thursday. So I'm assuming that this swim is gonna be nasty and then straight from there onto the trainer which kind of a pain session to get set up because you have to like get the bike and the trainer all organized before you even get in the water so i've got 19 minutes to drive to the pool set up the bike make sure it's all good to go i'm eating my uh, little bar here to make sure i got some food in and then um and then be ready to pop in the pool at nine sharp for the swim um yeah, we'll see if we can get any footage of that. Typically, it's myself, Xterra World Champion Bradley Vice, and my main training partner, Tim O'Donnell. And you might know Tim from being second in Kona and multiple other podiums. Um, yeah, multiple time Ironman champion and 70.3 champion. So he's uh, one of the best in the world. So pretty good to be able to train with him every day and uh, sort of watch and learn and help push each other. I like to think that I kind of aid him as well in uh, kind of bringing a different attitude to the sessions and then also just, um, I don't know, maybe not in terms of experience, but maybe other knowledge as well. So I think we, we have a nice little, nice little partnership going on. So uh, me, Brad and Tim are all preparing for Daytona. And uh, I think the boys are pretty motivated despite the snowy conditions, uh, we're getting the work done. So uh, yeah, we'll check in when we get to the gym. Critical part about the pre-workout, vibe out.
This is in the gym. But we're doing the swim to bike session. We got the bike set up here. All right. Oh, rolling. All right. Made it onto the trainer. Me and LB are working. These sessions are tough. Woo. All right, done with the bike workout. I'm sweating quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it there. But uh, yeah, tough session. These sessions are really brutal because you come out the swim with your heart rate high, just like you would in the race, and then you have to get on the bike and really smash it. So not an easy session, but it's exactly what I need. So it was good, working on my position, sweating a whole bunch. And uh, yeah, good morning ticked off. Three sessions in the bank. All right, sitting outside Rally Sport here. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, Rally Sport, all right. Um, so we knocked out the session today. We've got three done. Nine mile run this morning, you guys saw that. And now, this is typical Colorado weather. It's uh, beautiful now. Sun's out, all the snow's melting. The clouds have risen. You can see the mountains over there. So pretty incredible day it's turning out to be. Um, I haven't seen most of it because I've been training all morning, but it's uh, it's about 11.30 and we knocked out about three hours of training. So that was good. Swim was really, really hard today. Um, main set of 3,200 yards, total swim about 75 minutes, 5,000 yards. And uh, me and Lauren Brandon, who's arguably the best female swimmer in triathlon, were pushing each other today. So great to have her here in town doing some prep for Daytona. And um, yeah, the bike session, she also had the same. So we were, um, you know, couldn't really push each other except for in spirit um, riding the trainers like that but yeah really good session and then my coach Julie came in she was checking in on it and she surprised me with uh, maybe a little gift maybe a little, a little bit more punishment I've got another bike ride this afternoon um, sort of surprise session so thankfully my plan is to actually get outside so um, yeah I'll go home get something to eat I've got some, some errands to run probably get a coffee see what Jeannie's up to and uh, then hit the bike ride all right check in later all right we got a little team outing here. Just had a little lunch and uh, reunited here. Jeannie, Millie. We've got my uh, Shimano C60 front race wheel here. These are tubular wheels, so they actually glue the tire onto the rim. So I need to take this up to my mechanic because this tire probably has at least 200 miles on it, and these tubulars are pretty thin. So with these big races coming up, I want to make sure I've got a fresh, good tire ready to go, and then we get to have a little coffee date. So. Nice little afternoon mission here before the uh, the next workout of the day. We're at Spruce Confections, hence the confections. I don't know if coffee is their thing, but we really like the coffee here. Um, they've got tons of stuff in there. Scones, croissants, muffins, breads, and whatever. I thought about getting myself a little bad boy treat, but trying to be healthy going into my big race. So I've got some fig oat, the healthiest thing in there, seemingly the healthiest thing in there. <laughs> I don't know if I should have just gone for the scone or whatever. Um, yeah, but we're trying to be gluten-free and uh, dairy-free going into our into our race. So they didn't have any uh, gluten-free scones in there. So I had to go with this thing because it's got gluten-free oats and whatever. So a little taste test. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. Definitely tastes healthy. I give it like a... On the scale, you can't even put it in the same category as like a scone or a muffin because like those are going to be obviously way better but if you're talking about like in the ballpark of healthy treats i give this a solid seven <laughs> i like it <laughs> all right out on the bike little last minute apparel change here it's actually colder than i thought it's like 40. vibrant sun though see the mountains back there got the roadie out and uh yeah pretty pumped need some fresh air after a morning of what felt like cold and uh, indoor training. So I'm gonna enjoy this bike ride. Just a little one hour loop, make it two hours on the day. Gotta love it. Oh, look at the view. What an afternoon. Crazy compared to the morning. Oh, enjoying this ride a lot right now. We got sun, we got mountains, we got dry roads, road bike. It's having a blast right now. Can't beat it. All right, that's it for the ride. Wrapping it up. We got uh, just taking over one hour. It's probably gonna be about 21 miles. Um, be a little over an hour. But that is pretty much the end of the training day. 
wrap it up. We had the nine mile swim, <laughs> nine mile swim, nine mile run. We did 5,000 yard swim. We did an hour on the trainer, now an hour on the road, and uh, about four and a half hours of training today. And uh, yeah, it's about three o'clock. And stay's not over yet because I'll go home, get a bite to eat, and then I'm off to my massage therapist who makes sure that I can absorb all this training. So yeah, in the lead into Galveston, Daytona, I've been seeing her twice a week. Um, make sure the, the legs are working and nothing's getting too tight or, um, or injured. So yeah, go see her and then uh, Definitely a busy one. This is what most days are like in the life of Big Mets. Never a dull moment, but uh, yeah, I really love it. So, I'm about to get home and uh, yeah, we'll see what's next. All right, guys, in the car, and uh, I think this is gonna be the final little check in for the day. I'm on my way to my massage. I'll do uh, an hour with Sophie Evans and she'll get my body in the right spot after a tough day training, a tough day's training. And the thing about a day like today is that really doesn't matter about today, it's about backing it up with another hard day tomorrow, another hard day on Thursday, another hard day on Friday, another hard day on Saturday. And then we get a little bit of a rest before uh, we get into the taper for Galveston. But anyways, find a little bit of this block. Uh, good day today, busy day, but good day. I'm glad I was able to bring you guys along. Um, I'll have this massage, drive on home. Jeannie's gonna cook up a nice dinner for us and then we're gonna spend some time just kinda checking out, relaxing, hang out with Millie, watch some shows and uh, get to bed early because uh, we're training hard and I think we're both a bit tired. So that's a look in in the day of the life um, with me. Yeah, sort of a, a mix of everything today, but uh, yeah, it was a good day for me to show you guys and uh, stick around for more videos. Like, sub like, subscribe, you know the drill. If you're liking the content, um, yeah, that stuff really helps a bunch. So we'll check in soon and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Peace. Peace.